In a typical user-facing application, if I wanted to render a large set of data to a user, I would normally use a pagination approach. I don't necessarily think this is a great approach, but it's just what I use traditionally. If, however, I have to present a tremendous amount of data, probably in a administrative UI, Instead of a one, two, three, four, five, six kind of pagination approach, I'll use a limit and an offset to page through the data one page at a time, allowing the user to control which page they're on, but without giving them an overall set of pages. If I'm looking at 100,000 records, there's, there's really no point in, in listing out you know 50,000 page options. Um, so what we can see here is we're on page one, and I can go to the next 10 records, and you can see I'm now on an offset of 10 records. And if I go to the next 10, you can see I'm on an offset of 20. I can go back 10. I can reset. So we go back from 30 down to zero. And you'll see in the URL, all I'm doing is passing in the current offset of records that I want to use. So let's take a quick look at how this works in Cold Fusion, because you can see it's actually pretty fast. And the reason it's fast is because the query is simple, it can use indexes, and we don't actually have to do full table scans. So let's look at the code. So here's the offset that I'm passing in. That's going to be the number of records, essentially, that I skip when I read in the records that I want to render for the user. So we can think of the database that we're running or the database query that we're running as a combination of an offset and a page size. In this case, I'm only returning 10 records and those get translated into a limit and an offset within our MySQL query. And you can see here the query, it's fairly simple. I'm doing some simple joins between my comments, my members and my blog entries, simple ID joins. I'm ordering by the comment ID descending. So I'm ordering by the newest comments first. And then in that ordered set, I'm going to limit to 10 rows and I'm going to skip the first number of offset rows. So again, if we look at our record here, if I go to an offset of 10, what that means is I'm skipping the first 10 rows, essentially the 10 rows that were on this first page before reading in the 10 rows on the second page. Now, knowing whether or not we have a previous page is pretty easy. Anytime we have a non-zero offset, we have a previous page. If, in fact, if we go from to offset zero, you'll see that the previous button here disappears and then shows up if I go to an offset 10. But how do we know if we have a next page, right? If I'm reading rows 10 through 20, how do we know that there's a 21st row or a 21st plus row that'll be on the next page? To do that, what we actually want to do is read back n plus one rows for the current page, 10 rows that we're going to render, and then an 11th row indicating that we have a subsequent page. So let's take a look at how that works. If we look at our query bindings, what you can see is that for our limit, we're actually passing in the page size plus one. And again, that's because if our page size is 10, we want to pull in 11 records to make sure that that 11th record indicates a subsequent page, which means that when we adjust our pagination logic down here below, having a next link means that our record count, the 11 rows that we maybe pulled back, is greater than our page size, which was 10. Now, if we did pull back 11 rows, we don't actually want to render 11 rows. That 11th row is just an indicator of a subsequent page. So if we have a next row or a next page, what we want to do is slice out that 11th row, leaving us with just 10 rows to render. And then you can see down here in the code, and, and you'll be able to see this in the post, it's all pretty simple. All we're doing is adjusting the offset to go from the current page to the previous page, or the current page to the next page, or we're completely stripping out the offset to reset the query. And then we just loop over the current rows in the page and it is easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now, one thing you always want to do when you're in development is run and explain on your query. Obviously the color coding here gets messed up. You would want to run this in your database anyway. Um, on a query like this, where we're doing just some simple joins, the MySQL database can actually apply a lot of optimizations, such as a backwards index scan, which allows us to 
pull a lot of this information right out of the index so that the database isn't performing a full table scan. However, the moment you go to add some additional conditions into your join clauses or maybe add a where condition, you really, really, really want to make sure you run that explain because it may start having to run a full table scan in order to do the order by limit and offset. In which case you can apply other techniques like deferred joins, but that's way beyond the scope of this, uh, of this post here. That said, for simple queries like this, the limit and offset clauses are a wonderful way to quickly paginate and present a lot of data to your users or probably more to your site administrators. I have to say, I think maybe I like this technique better than traditional pagination. With traditional pagination, when we have all those options to jump to various pages, I, I feel like it doesn't really align with what users actually want to do. How often does a user want to randomly jump to page 11 of 57? Um, according to my application analytics at work, that almost never happens, which means that I think for the most part, the common gesture for users is actually just to jump to the next page, primarily consuming the data on the first page or no data at all. So in some ways, I almost want to start using this approach instead of using this as an optimization for internally facing administrative pages. It's much easier to write and it's probably going to be faster in a lot of cases. So uh, food for thought, food for thought, but hopefully there's something interesting in here and uh, just love playing in SQL. It's really great.